So today I thought I'd do a little video on how the Vickers belt loader works. I'm going to do some firing later, so I need to load up about blank ammunition. Now, you know, this is the easiest way for, for me as an individual to do this, so I thought I might as well film it, show you through it, see what happens. So firstly, there's a bit of technical information. This belt loader is uh, 1917 dated. It's actually marked up on here as a you know, machine filling belt Maxim 303 inch Mark II produced by the Swift Company in June 1917. Now, obviously Maxim and Vickers belts are exactly the same, certainly British Maxim belts, and they didn't change throughout the war. So this, uh, this belt loader Mark II actually predates the, the First World War and would have been the same uh, belt loader then just carried on carried on using didn't even change the designation to maxim and vickers there's no point a little bit like the mark 4 tripod that was originally a maxim tripod as well firstly i'm going to take the opportunity to point out some of the pertinent features on it so i've got a nice drill round red tipped here so that i can point them out quite easily so this is the hopper and this is what the, the the ammunition feeds into you put that the ammunition in there it goes down through here and then this, this barrel uh, is operated by this lever, crank lever here, and this all operates in a very mechanical fashion to push the rounds forward and go through. And you'll see that a little bit more when we get it working. This, this flap here, it, it goes over the belt and keeps it secure. Now, this is great uh, if, if the belt uh, is in place, it works well, and there's no bends on any of the long pieces here because it, it it needs quite a narrow gap to go through. It does tell you whether you've got a dodgy belt. You've then got this uh, spring uh, lever here. Now, this is particularly weak on this example because of age, probably needs replacing, certainly not something you can get spare parts for, so I'll have to make one of those up at some point. As you also have this in here, this pushes down on the, on the belt. That's also quite weak uh, with age, so at some point we'll, we'll have to go through and give this a full refurb. There's a roller here, you can see now that's what actually the belt loops around and we'll set that up in a moment and just quite simply when it all works together when you have this round out of the way this handle operates the whole mechanism and it works through quite neatly one of the one of the nice points about this is if you can just see it in the middle here this when it comes through actually is on a twist so that pushes through the belt and by the and it makes sure that the belt pocket is open quite well. This is the diagram from the 1914 handbook on the Vickers machine gun and it's got all the proper names for the, for the different parts on the machine filling belts and you can download this from the website if you're interested in doing so. So how does a belt feed through it? This goes main tab of the belt goes through this area here like so just like you'd be loading it through the gun although obviously it's from right to left uh, from left to right rather than right to left that goes round there and then this piece just comes round under the roller here now I've got the belt quite poorly laid out on the floor uh, this is relatively new belt it's not amazingly and actually I, I, I've loaded it in there back to front so I don't need no I haven't sorry my mistake I've loaded it in that in the way it would be fed into the gun. So I've got the loosest pockets at the front and I want some loose pockets today because I'm only going to be loading about 150 rounds. So here's my ammunition. Uh, it's PPU, long nose 303 blank. It's a couple of years old, um, but it's certainly what I'll be trying to run the gun on today. You can grab a good handful of it. All needs to be in the same direction. Try and make sure that this is across the bottom so it's not landing straight into, into the hopper. But it just straight into the uh, sort of breech of the machine, but that loads up nicely. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds in there before it stops going through. And then I'm just going to pop, I've got another four inch of loose, just going to pop those on top here for now. You do sort of need that hopper as full as possible, actually. So I'm going to pop another another few rounds in there just to help provide some of the weight to make it uh, to help with the gravity feed so we've now got uh 29 rounds ready ready in that hopper there to go 
One of the problems with this is I need to use both hands to be able to do it because of the age of those springs. So first things first, get it all lined up and I'm ready to, ready to go. Hopefully you can see it a bit better from this angle. So I need to keep some tension on the belt. I need to keep going through. And what I need to do here is to keep this spring down so that it can push through quite nicely and make because this is stopping the belt moving forward when you're pushing that ammunition through. Now I'm also going to help it uh, because that top pawl here doesn't really help at the moment, but it's certainly going to do enough. Now I'm obviously slower than a trained uh, machine gunner in the First World War with a brand new bit of kit, and they would have been able to do this a whole bout in about 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, not you know, not a quick amount of time, and certainly a lot lot slower than it would have taken for a yeah the machine gun to empty the belt. The belt loading machine doesn't work with uh, stripless belts, so purely for these strip type belts, which probably explains the scarcity of why they don't exist in numbers today, because the strip type belts stopped being used in British service for some years. You see that I've exhausted the hopper there. I'm just going to pop those down in manually. As you can see, feed tray out the back there what stops the uh, the rounds sort of becoming the wrong length and pushing through too far this is the, you know, the, the edge of the ammunition belt stops and pushing through too far here and if, as long as they fit through here they are suitable to go in the feed block sort of self 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 gauging So there we go, 29 rounds full straight away. Here's a useful animation of how the belt filling machine works that was created by Rob Brassington, whose videos are quite well known on YouTube now, and his alias is at the end of this little clip. So you can go and look for more animations on how different machine guns and different weapons, particularly torpedoes, work. But this is really useful to understand the, the mechanism of the belt loader without my hands in the way, without other parts of the mechanism in the way as well. So you can see here how that top pawl is dropping down and pushing that belt through without any, uh, without any hindrance at all. And just this simple action of rotating the handle, moving these, uh, this ammunition down through a feed tray, through a sort of reverse tray, so that you always got a little bit of gravity on that belt, pulling it forward just to help those springs along the way. Now Rob hasn't got that bottom roller shown here, but you saw that in the video of how the, the empty portion of the belt drops down and goes around that roller. Here is usefully taken away some of the components so we can see in a little bit more detail how that uh, twisting mechanism works on the belt of the loop spreader and how the, the action works quite nicely pu pushing it through without the, the hopper and the feed components in the way. So really great video to help understand the mechanism that little bit more. Rob visited the Vickers MG collection here in Wiltshire uh, about 18 months ago and you'd all be welcome to come and see it in operation in the same way. You can see quite a bit of the belt was fed through quite nicely, quite neatly, and they're all they're all pretty consistent in length. And should operate through the gun quite nicely. That first one perhaps uh, needs a little bit of a hand, so let's just pop him through there, and there we go, quite nice. I've got a few more rounds to fill, so there's no real need for, for you to watch me do that, and uh, hopefully that's been quite useful to see how the to see how the belt loading machine works for the Vickers. The Vickers machine gun belt loader was carried in the hind portion of the limbered wagon. And you can see it here at a Living History event. We did a Chalk Valley History Festival back in 2013. It fits exactly onto the drawbar of the hind portion and the clamp fits that drawbar very well. So it could be set up and used quite nicely between the two 
portions of the wagon, as you can see in this original footage here uh, from 1916, fitted between the drawbar, being operated by two men. I hope that helps you understand how the Vickers belts were loaded a bit more. Uh, feel free to download the manuals from the website, share this video, ask any questions you have, and hopefully we'll be able to put some more together for you.